Hey guys, John from The John Muir Show here, and it was just a few weeks ago, you probably remember it in fact, that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was the darling of the Democrat Party. Uh, she was the one who in that uh, New York primary defeated uh, longtime Congressman Joe Crowley, who many expected was going to be the next leader of the Democrats in the House of Representatives, uh, succeeding Nancy Pelosi, but he was defeated by a 28-year-old self-identified democratic socialist that would be Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. Now things have been going very swimmingly for her. Everybody was praising her, they loved her. Oh my God, she pulled off a huge upset and it was. It was the biggest upset of the primary season to date. But now all of a sudden the uh, Bernie Sanders protege, yeah, running into a little bit of trouble. You see, um, recently she had uh, Miss Ocasio-Cortez flip-flopped within the matter of a few days on the topic of Israel and Palestine. After uh, making some baffling remarks uh, the other day about Israel's, quote, occupation of Palestine, Ocasio-Cortez noted, quote, she's not the expert at geopolitics on this issue. Yeah, the latter might be the first reasonable thing that she said at any point during this entire political run that she's been on. You see, Ocasio-Cortez has done an absolutely terrific job of reciting the socialist talking point of free everything for everybody and the newfound liberal talking point that they seem to love so much about abolish ICE. Yeah, the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, the, the ones who keep us safe, the ones who actually enforce their immigration laws. Yeah, they're evil racists. Get rid of them. That's what the Democrats have been saying for the longest time, and she does a really good job of, as well on that. But it seems the problem is that Miss Ocasio-Cortez doesn't know the first thing about any foreign policy matters, which if you're going to be a sitting member of Congress, which she is aspiring to be, yeah, that's kind of important. You kind of need to know those things. You can't just talk about the talking points one after another. Once you get to DC, yeah, you actually have to work and you have to know a lot about a lot of different things. It seems, yeah, Miss Ocasio-Cortez a little bit limited on that front. But nonetheless, of course, since the left loves nothing more than playing identity politics and also loves people who spew senseless nonsense talking about their talking points over and over again, it's no surprise that the DNC has been all over her and still is to this day. DNC Chairman Tom Perez called Ocasio-Cortez, quote, the future of our party. To Mr. Perez, I say good luck. Good luck trying to appeal to any independent voter, to any less politically charged voter this coming midterms if you're hoping that your entire roster is going to be full of candidates like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Because yes, she will appeal really well to far left neighborhoods in New York. She will appeal really well to those all the way to the left. But how on earth do you expect her to appeal to anybody else with how radical and how senseless she is? It's just absolutely unbelievable. It seems like the Democrats with the stuff that they're wishing for themselves, it's like they don't want that blue wave to come true after all. That's all the time that we have for today, but tune into the John Muir Show each and every weekday morning, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. on WSAU and WHBL. Until next time, I'm out.